I think this is going to be the last one for today, though. Yep, I know how to play. So now we have three worlds to go to instead of just one, just just two. So again, we're going to kind of plan out our our match here. So I'm kind of working my way through it. Let's see. So um, if we go here, 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 we can use a candle if we go like this all the way around and then come back down and then maybe a second candle if we get one and then go that way. So I think that's pretty good, right? So we go basically go up and down. Or actually, oh, we don't even have to use a candle at all. We can go do this, do that, and then go around this way. Now later on, they're gonna do a thing where um, there's no way to do this without using a candle. Um, kind of like some of these paths like that one. So just be aware of that. So the water is pretty nice because it's just straight damage and it soaks them. And then notice we've got right off the bat somebody that's uh, four stamina, which is also interesting. I'm going to go and do that. And then we'll just stun this guy on the top. I did really enjoy playing the with the bard. Unfortunately, later on you get some other characters that are, they kind of... Uh, make him, they put him to shame. Let's do that. I'm going to go and burn both of these guys over here. slow him down water him down it's funny So this is a good circle right here. There we go. Pretty solid. Here, I'm just going to kill the... I guess not. Okay, so this is a good character to use that water on because... <clears throat> it can freeze your own dude, so using the spell on him is pretty good. That bomb guy that we just saw running up there. This is fine. So I want the one guy. Well, I guess I can just do this. We'll just burn him. Plus in this mode, now that I've got the bard, I don't have to worry about my hit points too much. So I could have just let one of my guys burn a little bit. They do have some regen anyways. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Three seventy-six. We should be able to buy some pretty nice stuff. Some more stuff.
stuff. That's a piece of bread and that thing. The bread. I want to say that's for my plus one stamina, faster spell recharge. Yeah, it's not great for him. That's the other thing is you might end up with items on the wrong characters when you're doing it this way. I want to say this is going to be good for her. Spell recharge, spell damage by 20. So for the most part, the rogue's not going to have spell damage type items anyways. So that's actually really good that I remember that that was for the rogue or that that goes well on the rogue. Oh, 200 is what we need to buy spells. So you kind of always want to make sure you have 200 gold available. Um, so keys, usually around about two keys is not bad to have. Let's see, we've got a battle coming up, so I think I can, yeah, I can afford two keys. I don't like buying, th three keys is a lot to have. You need keys for chests once in a while. I usually like to, have, I think two is about right. Um, so we'll just go to it and do the damage on the top here. Start pushing, putting damage there. Do the round robin thing in the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's pretty good. It gets really hard to actually do this later. Like, honestly, I'm making it look really easy, but later when you're playing the game, they definitely put you in some situations where there, there are guys that just, it's just way beyond uh, what you might have available. So it depends on some of the things that you pick up sometimes. Again, leave everyone where they are. Another thing that seems to be how it works with spells is it doesn't matter how much stamina are on the characters. Like, it just does whatever the spell does. The damage values, everything doesn't seem to be affected by the amount of stamina. So, that's always good to know. Do that round robin. Yeah, it's kind of bad for us to leave the, those lanes that way to change them. It puts us in a bad attacking position, so we'll not do the round robin there. See if we can kill this middle guy, maybe? No, got close.
There we go. Hey, what's going on, Butch? Erna? B. H. Butch? Alright, so. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna go around the top here. A spell vendor there. Pick that up on the way back, but yeah, we would definitely want to go around the top here and then come back down that way. It's okay for us not to get that spell right now. That's fine. There we go. We got a vendor up here anyways. We gotta make sure we have 200 gold for that vendor though. Uh, this is probably gonna be best on my warrior, I guess, maybe? We'll find out. Melee damage, max stamina. I like to put actually that on my rogue. The rogue could have done with that extra damage because three attacks plus 10 damage is more damage overall than my uh, one attack on my big guy, so. Um, yeah, let's just do that. And then. Yeah, I'll slow down that guy, I guess. Let's do it like that. Try to kill this guy, maybe. Just kill him outright. Six attacks. Yep. So there's a lot of guys in the middle, so I'm going to start burning. So that seems pretty solid. Another thing you can do is you can use your guys like they're as if they were human torches. So like I could change if that guy was on fire, I could change to his um, his lane and then change to another lane above him, and I could actually catch all the enemies on fire as well. That's pretty much okay if your characters have something that's gonna heal them, like this bard that we've got here. Then it's okay. But other times you might lose too much hit points and then you're too close to death and you either can't do it or it'll really hose you or you'll die. There's a couple of enemies that actually just come into lane and shoot stuff at you. Very few that actually do that. But um, that can definitely change your game plan. Or Usually it's not enough to kill you, but if you had making the ris made the risky choice... If you made a risky choice and knocked down your own hit points early on, then that could potentially put you in a place where you could get owned. But that's like later game meta meta enemies. So I could have buffed my guy to do two attacks there. Normally I would. I guess that's probably what I should have done, honestly. Instead of just attacking twice. But that's fine too. Uh, that guy's going to come out before me. I'm going to just kill this guy outright. Just finish him off there. is fine. You're always assessing lanes. It's like, is that where I want my guys to be? Is that where they should be? 
I'm not sure. You're always making that assessment. Like, I just made a poor assessment there. I sh actually should have left the bard at the top lane. So, that's kind of my fault for wasting a little bit of energy here. Yeah, we're actually going to do that. And then that. Alright. And there we go. kill that guy so I can hit the guy behind him and knock down that stamina. There we go. I haven't had to do one soul orb activation yet. I don't, ex I don't expect that I will, honestly. We also haven't lost any stamina yet. But we will once we start getting those higher levels. I guess the nice thing is, is the the first couple games, like that you're playing this, um, it goes pretty quick. But later on, it's kind of like you sit down and you want to finish a whole thing. It's going to be a good two, two and a half hours to finish a whole run. Let's see which spell we get. So different items again can affect the spells that these guys give you. We don't have any of those items on us. Uh, some sort of vortex looking thing. It doesn't look like it's... Is it water related? We don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe put it on this guy. Because I know that the spell damage on that one is reduced. Because of the item we have. If I remember right. Yeah, I don't know if this is water related. It could be water related. So if I have a water related one. And I put it in here. Puddles could create additional puzzle puddles. I mean I guess I could try it. Let's Let's see. I think it might be water related. Nope. So that just moves them all in the same location. So that would have been fine to put on our rogue at the top. Spell Gambler. I don't have anywhere near the money I need. And in fact, I don't actually have enough money to buy that other spell. So I'm just going to say no to this guy. I'm going to say no to that item. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money to buy this spell down here. We had a water spell vendor, which would have been a lot better for that guy's slots anyways. So that's just unfortunate. We had a candle. We have a chest. We've got two of them, and one of them's locked. And so, yeah, I'll go ahead and blow a candle to do this. So, again, candles are when you backtrack, you have to use a candle. Otherwise, you lose the game automatically. So, we'll just see what's in the chest first. We got another candle. And we don't get enough money that we could go back. We could backtrack all the way to the spell vendor, but we do get a candle to to uh, do this. This is going to use a candle. Okay. So again, yeah, that'll end your game instantly if you don't have a candle when you backtrack. We actually have another locked chest over here. Just one, though. Uh, let's see. Some sort of pants. I don't have anything on my mage. I'm, I'm guessing these are probably going to be better for... Eh, maybe they're better for this guy. When you're first playing the game, you don't have to worry about filling up your slots, but when you get the full game unlocked, you do kind of have to think about slots, and sometimes you don't want to actually take items that are bad, but right now it's like any item that gives me anything I want to take. I'm going to throw it on here. Let's see what we got here. Critical hit chance, 15% damage for next spell. Okay, he has no damaging spells, so that would have been better on my uh, bard, so... It's one of those things. Again, once it is you found the items, if you find them again in future games, like it'll tell you what they are, but the first time around, it doesn't tell you. And I've played the game, but I don't have everything memorized, so I kind of have to see if I remember what things are, or kind of guess by the pictures of what they are. This one, where it puts everybody on the same lane, is nice to get you guys out of trouble, but we honestly probably won't use it this whole game. This whole run, we probably won't use it. So let's see here. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to wait for this guy to get close to one of my other guys. 
So if I attack him, he's gonna he's gonna freeze. So we don't want to do that. I do kind of want to do that though. Definitely want to do that. That and then that and yeah, froze him. See that? <laughs> That's some tech play right there. Froze him in midair. So the next time he gets hit, oh, I guess he's just going to get back up. The next time he would have gotten hit, it would have just been uh, auto automatically like all the damage. So as if he didn't have stamina. Probably actually should have moved that guy to the middle, but this is fine, I think. Got him. So if we start burning this guy, I think he gets rid of his um, other status there. So watch this. So I can change lanes up here. No, I didn't. I guess he stopped burning. If he had. He just had, it looks like the graphics are showing that he's burning, but he's actually not burning. We actually need to knock down that guy's stamina anyways. Otherwise, it would have lit me on fire if he was burning. So. Run through those guys from the back. Just kind of give it a wait here. I'm just going to hit that guy, even though it's not going to knock his stamina down. Uh, slow that guy down a little bit. He's immune to damage, so there's no reason to hit him. Now, when he does have that shield on, a lot of times you can hit him with a spell. Even though he's immune to regular damage, he's not a lot of times they aren't immune to regular damage. But it seems to just depend on what shield it is. And it can be hard to tell. So. Might get to see a new boss here. Maybe. Yep, this is the other first stage boss, so there's two bosses available in every stage. This one's not that bad. This is the one I fought the first couple times before I understood that you needed to get their stamina exactly where it needs to to be. This guy's actually a little bit easier than the other one. So I have his exam stamina exactly at zero, and now I can pummel him. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, uh, no. That's fine. We'll just We'll just hit him. There we go. Uh, okay. That's pretty good. Alright. So what happens is, like, he keeps sending minions along with him. And eventually they just become overwhelming for you. But overall, like, you just do the normal things you do. And you just focus fire him and ignore everything else. And it works out. Like, right now I'm just doing a circle. Just to do some damage to those guys up there. But it doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to go ahead and light these guys on fire, actually. Here we go. Uh, this needs to be a little bit closer. So right about there is fine. So light him on fire. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my guy like a human torch. And I'm going to light those guys on fire at the top. 
And once they're lit on fire, they're lit on fire. And there's no one else to light on fire here. Also, a lot of his guys only have one stamina, so... The, uh, the Bard lets me do this pretty well again, because the Bard is going to regen my health on all my party members, so... It doesn't really matter that much. Alright, let's knock him down again. Kind of want him to step out in front of those guys a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to use... I'm actually going to get some big damage in here with two attacks. With my big guy. Let's slow that guy down a little bit. We're just basically waiting for that guy to get up in front again of our dudes. Mm, so we don't so here's a here's a rookie mistake. We don't have double strike up. We could try to do this guy twice, but it's better to just wait because then we can get two guys at once. So we kind of just want to wait to get like this guy and then get our mage at him. That would be better. So that's one of those things that it takes a while to figure out that that's better. Like this is better because now I'm set up to, uh, to get that stamina knocked down on him. Then waiting two turns on that guy and then waiting for something else. Let's actually burn a bunch of these guys in the middle. There we go. And again, we're going to kind of human torch this one. So let's kill that guy at the bottom. So yeah, we're human torch it a little bit. Same thing. perfect so we're gonna get double damage on this guy again there we go and we can even hit him with uh, some water as well problem with the water is it's gonna slow him down a bit we do some round robin here This is one of those situations where what we could do is, uh, there we go, that's pretty good. Let me go ahead and send him to the top. So basically, just keep sending him around, getting all that damage in. So we wait for the boss to get close enough to us. Let's see. Is that what we want there? I think so. There we go. Enemy killed. I think you said it's epic because it's past a certain number, and when you kill the boss, it kills all the other buddies with him. So. Welcome to the desolation. Battle empty. 
Okay, so here's another one where we're going to kind of plan it out. So it's a pretty simple one. We go up here, go up there, there, turn around, come down this way, come over here, and we've done like everything in this area. So it's a pretty simple one. It's not too bad. So let's go straight in there. Okay, what's going on? We got Ken Kendrill Killbox. How are you guys doing? Just hanging out this Sunday. So a lot of Halloween type things are going on in our area, so I'll be doing that a little bit later today. So happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, we're going to freeze some stuff with this guy in the back here. So that guy freezes when we kill him. So we're going to kill him with our spell. Knock that guy out. Get some stamina off of him. Yep. Uh, we'll go and burn these guys down here. So you can see that this, even though that they're shielded, that it's doing damage to them anyways. Kind of waiting for this guy right now. And we'll run through that guy. Unfortunately, I'm just not hitting a good moment to hit to use my uh, rogue right now. There's a good moment. There we go. Um, actually, this guy's been longer, so, so we'll see if he stays. There. Oh, yep. Nope. He got his stamina back right as we were hitting him. So the stamina are the green cubes right next to their health, and when those are up, they take minimal damage. You want to get exactly the number of hits on their stamina to take them down. There we go. There we go. There we go. What's going on, guys? There's a lot of enemies. Elliot's, Elliot's giving us the play-by-play -play now, so... Well, there's lots of endings. I guess. Let you talk. Which, what are you going to say, Joshua? You're playing Plants vs. Zombies right now. Okay, guys, why don't you guys go play somewhere else? There's the kids. I'll be doing some Halloween stuff later. Uh, let's go ahead and just get some fire running here. I should light that guy on fire. Wasn't that great because he got a stamina back right as we were hitting him. There we go. Spell Gambler. Like I said, 364 is, I mean, if you want to gamble, I wonder if there are spells you can only get from the Spell Gambler, but if you're trying to win and, and have good runs, I think that you pretty much never want to do the Spell Gamblers unless you're up by five or 600 gold like we were that one match, because it can cost a lot to get those spells. Uh, we've got one key. Like I said, I only, I only feel like I need two keys. So I'm just going to get a second key here. We still have another stage to go through. We're in the second of three stages. Or three worlds, I guess. So I don't really see we'll need more than that. Oh, there we go. At the top of the screen is going to be a uh, gremlin guy. So we're going to hit him a lot. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Oh, that sucks. Um, oh, that's a problem. I sh did not want to do that. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to do that. Kind of really didn't want to do that. Yeah, they're basically like the Diablo 3 um, goblins where you hit them and they give you money. You can't kill these. I don't think you can kill them, though. I, at least I've never killed one of those goblins. So that's their difference. So the zombies don't have any stamina whatsoever, so you can just hit them. But... They uh, they take they have a fair amount of hit points, so you kind of have to put a decent amount of damage on them to get them to die. So we may actually have to use a spell here to deal with this board state. Uh, let's see if I do that. That'll help a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and vortex here. I think I'm just gonna put everything in the same lane. And hopefully, we can get our fire spell back, and we can light up all those guys in the center of the field there. Now we can get all these guys in the middle. Get a lot of bang for our buck that way. Okay, that's good. I kind of, there's no reason to do human torch there because there really wasn't anything to do it to. There wasn't anyone else to light on fire that was in that lane. At this point, I'm trying to just kind of put a lot of damage here in the center of the field because there's just a lot of dudes there. Okay. That's not what we wanted. Yeah, we really kind of need to get this damage out here. This might be, we might be losing some stamina here. Because we keep coming back further and further behind. And that's a really bad attack. Basically, now I'm just making the choice on who's going to take the stamina hit. Because they're about to hit me. There's really not a lot I can do with it. I hope we don't lose here. That would be sad. I know I can't cast an extra spell here either. Um, I guess we have that... This guy's being hit in the middle, so I can't change lanes to him. Um, let's see. I 
can't let him get hit again. So I'm going to put my... My uh, warrior there, because he can get hit again, but this isn't looking good, that's for sure. Try to stun some of these guys back here. If I could vortex here, I would again. Killed one of them, I guess. I'm gonna try to round robin to get some damage in on this on this lane. Uh, I can't because she's getting hit again. That's really bad. That was a bad choice to round robin there. No spells. Still have no spells. We're starting to clear things up. We lost a lot of stamina. We'll get our health back, and that's so that's fine. But the big thing is, is we're just trying to clear up this lane, and we're really not doing a great job of it. Oh, great! That's bad. I don't really want him to take a hit here, but he's going to. Well, hopefully we can make a comeback here. Now that everything's at the back of the lane. So it's like the first time that we haven't actually defeated all of our enemies, which of course doesn't feel good. We don't get any bonus for for that. So we missed, there's one enemy that we missed getting, unfortunately. And we lost three stamina off our heroes, so I guess things are getting a little bit tougher at this point. I uh, still have no idea what a lot of these items are, so as we started the game. Uh, some boots. You know, I really feel like I need to just throw something on this guy at this point. I don't even care what. I'm pretty sure these boots are probably going to be better for one of the other two. But, uh, plus two max stamina. Those are pretty bad item, honestly. <laughs> but, I guess it's, it could be worse. Two keys. We have one locked chest here. Let's go ahead and just open them both up, see what we got. So we got another item. Um, yeah, same thing. I'm just going to throw it on this guy. I'm not sure what it is. More stamina, melee recharge, it doesn't matter that much, and melee damage is really... Yeah, so that would have been much better on one of the other characters. We're going to go down so we can go down and then come back up. Get our spell vendor. Here we go. Is a water spell vendor? Water spells. Okay, so it's just another one of those. And let's see what this guy's item is. It says... This gives him healing. So he doesn't have anything special per se. Spell casting increases damage, though, on that guy. And this guy is a little bit faster. And I think we put... Increased... Uh, let's see. This reduces spell damage, so we probably don't want to put it on him. Probably actually want to put it down here. Faster spell recharge. Yeah, let's put it on our, on this guy, so that way he can get some more 
spells in, which makes him buffs his uh, attack damage. So hopefully we can not suck like we did last time. That would be good, right? Usually when you use that spell that we used, it's you're in bad shape anyways, and it's not going to go very well. It groups things up, which is nice, so it's good to combo it with some sort of area effect type of spell, but didn't really have an option. using our round robin here to get the extra little tiny bits of damage in. There's actually one of these characters that does a lot of damage when it is that you do that, when you run through things backwards. just owning them. We're just waiting for things to show up. Okay, so this is where we would have liked to have had one of those spells ready. But we'll just freeze one of our own guys, and that's fine. That's not that big, big of a deal. With no nothing on the table to have to worry about, we don't have to worry. We have to do too much there. See, now that's what we wanted. We get our stamina back here at the stamina camp. It's always good. Hit points don't matter too much because we've got that bar to help out, so I'm not too worried. I think my, my health is all full anyways on my dudes. Merchant rare. Ooh, that thing's awesome. It really doesn't matter who we put this on. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my mage. So this thing shoots out spells once in a while. Every 10 seconds it does 40 dam It does water damage and it wets the target. Anytime you see a skull, that's pretty much what it does. It does some sort of spell damage. Uh, we hit the battle and then go to the boss so we can get some more money. Six candles is a lot. We've got a lot of candles. Alright, so... That was our skull that just did that. Our new skull. Let's go ahead and just smack that guy. Um,
like I can freeze things. So here's where we definitely want to use this because we really just don't want to deal with it. Actually here, do that. Bam! Thanks, Skull. So here we're going to do the human torch thing, light up that guy, swap back, let's see if I do that, yeah there we go. So all my guys are burning here but it's okay because they'll get their hit points back, the bard will they'll regen their hit points. kind of messing it up right now. I kind of need to get some damage on this guy that's been stunned. There we go. Got to get that rotation down. Yeah, we just keep him in place right now. Just wait for his thing to recharge. Again, that guy's the fastest recharge, so it's okay to leave him in lane most of the time, so just wait. Easy money, right? There we go. Let's hit that boss. Uh, I don't remember this guy being too bad. Oh, this is the shield guy. This guy's got a ton of stuff. So this is one where it's... Okay, so you want to freeze the guy. So the trick with this one is there's a guy that we can freeze, and that's going to make it a lot easier to deal with him. So what we want to do is we want to hit this guy. And then, then he's frozen. What? For a little while, Connie. I can. Uh, do you want me to get off? Okay. I'll get off after this one. All right. All right, so we need to freeze this guy because 50 is too much to deal with. Um, and I'm going to get as much damage out of my abilities as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and give my guy three attacks. And just, bam, hit him for as much damage as I can get there. Meanwhile, we got to take care of all the, all the rest of the dudes. can burn them here too. So let's go and burn them. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to go and light everybody else on fire. Kind of try to get that through. Got 
Kind of wait for him to come out, show his head again. Okay, so we can freeze him here. The problem is, if we do this, then it's going to freeze our own guy in lane, and that's not going to work out for us. So we need to actually use a spell. So we have to save every spell we have to actually freeze him in place. So we're actually going to put that guy in prep preparation for this. So we got to wait for him to show about that there's just the right place. There we go. The same thing. We just keep doing this. So you can see his hit points right now. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's easier if we target him with something. So you can see his hit points are 1494 out of 1900. Just kill that guy. Stun that guy. Like I said, this is basically like some sort of fantasy puzzle game and, you know, like a Tetris or a Dr. Mario or something. So that guy can throw us off a little bit if, uh, if he does the wrong thing. We've got this Vortex if we have to use that at the last second. I'm going to go ahead and do this to, like, take down some of these. Looks like we won't need to. I think we'll be okay if we do that. Yeah, okay. It would not be okay to do it here, though. So we're just waiting for that guy to come right there. There we go. Burn them. I'm trying to remember if I've ever actually like taken this guy's stamina all the way down and started counting it down. I don't think I have. There's these little tricks with all the bosses, so you really kind of have to pay attention. Like I said, a couple of times now. Once in a while, when you're hitting guys, even if they have stamina, um, your your attacks will get through. So that's what we just saw there. I think you have to crit. If you crit, your your attacks have a chance of getting through. Okay, so now we got to hit this guy. Kind of have to really pay attention when you have something in lane. Probably should have just boosted the attacks there on that one. right where we need him so let's go ahead and hit that guy all right we're gonna double the attacks here let's get a little bit more damage in speed this up a little bit
Oh, see, now that's a problem. <laughs> so that wasn't our fault. That was our thing that... Our, our extra spell item thing that did that to us. We can still push him back a little bit on these and wait for the next one. Hopefully that won't happen again. We also always have our vortex, we'll push him, which will push him all the way back as well. guys in the back because I'd rather, I think that's more bang for the buck. Well, we happen to get some damage through even though he had full stamina <laughs> and it just finished him. Well, unfortunately my wife has called me off the game now, so we will have to finish this another time. Welcome. But I hope you really enjoyed watching some Has Been Heroes here. I really enjoy playing this game. So, uh, I mean, there's just a lot of depth to the game, I think. And it's easy to overlook it. So, until next time, this is Aaron Squire signing off saying God bless your family. Try to raise too much out there.